grew up in the church, um, and so I grew up with uh, being uh, taught the Bible and being taught the truth of, of God's Word. And so I accepted Christ when I was six years old, um, but all throughout my life, I never felt um, content. I never felt like I, I could rest. I always felt an anxiety. And so my whole meaning of life, really, was, was to feel socially accepted, was to be comforted, uh, to, in order to find that rest. So finally, when I, when I entered into high school, uh, I was offered uh, drugs. And I thought, I mean, if they'll like me, I mean, if, if they will accept me for, for who I am, then I'll try it. And uh, as a result of, of trying drugs that one day, I ended up uh, becoming addicted uh, for upwards of six years. Uh, and then when I got into college, <clears throat> I got addicted to cocaine, and it was a downward spiral from there. Um, I tried to, to, to quit. Um, I tried to get away from it. Um, and my parents did all that they could to show me grace. Uh, but also to show me uh, that they'll not stand for it. So one night it, it came to the point where they said, you need to get out or you need to get help. Uh, and so I ran away, of course. Uh, and I was at my friend's house and I felt what I believe is the grace of God uh, pulling on my heart. Uh, so I came home at three o'clock in the morning, knocked on my parents' door, woke them up, and I said, I need help. Uh, and so I said, okay, we're leaving tomorrow. Uh, so. Uh, Little did I know that they had called a, a rehab and they said, we're ready whenever you want. And so that next day, uh, as I was uh, you know, crying and kicking my feet like a little kid, uh, they drove me to Nowhere, Texas uh, for a month. And I just remember the first day there where I was in a fit of anger. At the, um, <clears throat> as I was getting off my drugs, I was in the hospital um, and I was yelling at nurses and I was kicking stuff down. And finally I had been detoxed and I was in my room and I just remember crying my eyes out, realizing that if I did not give up my anger, if I didn't give up my, my anxiety, that I would never be content and that I would never get clean. And so that night was the night that God showed me his character, that God showed me that he was in control and I wasn't, that I would only find my contentment in him. And so from that moment on, I have been flourishing. And, and after that rehab, I moved to Florida uh, went to three month rehab there and decided to stay there for a year and just work and live. Uh, and I, I just started studying God's Word uh, in a little, you know, alongside um, some commentaries and just realizing that God's Word is alive, uh, that is profound. And I just started eating stuff up and, and I just started growing. And I was working at Walgreens and I just felt this urge to go do something about it to go and, and proclaim the gospel, really. And so I, I emailed some people that were missionaries in Russia, and I said, I just feel like I want to go. I just feel like I want to go and, and, and proclaim the gospel uh, to others. And, and so they said, okay. And so two months later, uh, I moved uh, to Texas. I was staying uh, with my sister in an apartment, and, and the first day I moved back to Texas, I ran into some old friends. I ran into Tyra um, at a Starbucks. And he said, hey, we're, we're meeting at a new church called Redeemer. And, uh, and God and his sovereignty has, has connected me with many old friends, with Tyra and Rope and Kevin, and, and just uh, so many old people that I used to know and that I used to um, hang out with at the college and stuff. And it's just been great. Um, so I, I started doing that. And then two months later, I went to Russia. And then I came back and I decided I want to do, I want to do this for the rest of my life. I want to spend my time studying God's Word and, and proclaiming it uh, to uh, Christ Church. And so from then on, I've grown tremendously. Uh, God has shown me uh, how to grow and how to love Him more. Um, and so I've been attending CVS for the last year and a half, uh, learning so much about God and, and the world. And, and, uh, and so God has taken me from a place of just pure desperation and, and uselessness to Him to where I can be useful to Him. And so I want to devote my life now uh, to the study of His Word and uh, to uh, pastoral ministry um, and to counseling others and to helping others and to walking with others. And that is the grace that God has given me.